All right, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Chris's Secret Podcast. On this episode, I'm going to be putting Alex Ramosi's book, $100 million, I believe it was Leads is the name of the book. Um, I did a book review on it a few episodes ago, and in the book, it talked about double dialing and looping. Sorry, $100 million, $100 million offers was the book. And so it talked about two things. It talked about uh, double dialing, and it talked about uh, looping. So <clears throat> what double dialing is, it is where you call somebody, if they don't answer, you just call them immediately back, and it's supposed to increase your likelihood of setting a meeting. And then looping is where you answer objection, and then you ask for the sale or ask for the close again. So with cold calling, if they give me an objection, I'm going to then ask for the meeting a second time. So if they give an objection, I answer the objection and ask for the meeting. So. I've got this crazy setup going and we're going to just rip some dials. I got my phone here. Uh, you should be able to listen to it. Hopefully the audio quality will be better for people now. And I'm going to just do my normal cold calling. I got my little booklet here so I can track all my cold calls and we're going to try to make at least, I don't know, at least 50. Ideally we can make a hundred. So, uh, wish me luck. Let's do it. Oh, and also, if you like my content, all that I ask is that you just subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I ask. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. All right. Without further ado, we're going to rip some dials. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Uh, hey, hey, this is Chris with... Did I catch you in okay time? Who's this calling? Uh, this is Chris... Credit Division. Did I call you? Uh, no, I, I called you. I was reaching out because I wanted to see if that's something that you're already aware of or if someone from my team already wanting, notified you just, of this. Alex is one of your clients? Uh, it's one of, yeah, it's one of yes. Are you have a list of people? No, I, I work. You do? Yeah, I'm in our team. Okay, well... I, we already had that information that you're talking about. You already you already taking advantage of that. Oh yes, of course. Okay, awesome. And not not right, not the 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 correct. No, I don't know about that, but uh, that's not for me to worry about. Uh, we have an account that does that stuff. Okay, rather time consuming process to put the packet together, um, and also it's a, a, a bit complicated. So typically, accountants outsource it to people like us. So. Um, I would just I would just mention it to them if you'd like. I'd be happy to schedule a time with just, you, maybe next week, and just, I can at least explain it to you. I don't. I, so send it to send it to the company. I have. I believe. Let me just confirm. I have email. Um, yes. I've got. That's easy. it. Okay. That's it. That's right, cool. Yeah, just send right. it to them. All right. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, I'm speaking. Uh, hey, this is Chris with. Did I catch you in okay time? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Awesome. I'll be I'll be quick. Uh, reason for my call is that your old account with us was to see if someone from my team's already notified you of this or if this is something. No, we we already our account. We already deal with all that, so we don't we don't need any help. Thank you. Got it. Got your account's helping right. you with. And yep. j just to confirm, because I hear that a lot, it's not the. Okay. Yep. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, Thanks. appreciate the time. Bye -bye. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Yep. Bye. Hey, Dora. Hey, hey Dora, this is Chris Division. Did I catch it in okay time? Okay, perfect. I'll yeah. I'll send in real quick. Is your email actually what is your email? Because I don't think I have your right email. Sure. Okay, perfect. Is there anybody else uh, you'd like me to invite to this uh, this yeah, meeting? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I will I will invite both of you. And and that one's uh, is is their name? Yeah. And then your are you? Okay, perfect. I'll suit. I'll send you guys both a calendar invite, um, and it'll be a, a a meeting where we can meet over like WebEx, so that I can share my screen and show you uh, show you a PowerPoint. Does that work? Yes, that works. Okay, perfect. I look forward to connecting. Then I'll send you a calendar invite now. Products. Uh, hello. This is Chris. I was calling for. I'm sorry. What? Uh, I was calling for. Okay. So on another line at the moment okay can someone else help you yeah um i guess it may, maybe you can help me uh i was calling with and i was calling because um something came up on your account regarding and i needed uh, uh clarification let, on. let me let me put you through the 
he does that for okay. the moment. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Help you. Uh, hey, this is Chris Arslan with... More work. You know, yeah. it's nice getting the money, but then they'll say, oh, yeah, by the way, you know, here's you have to restate, you know, two years of taxes and you also have to pay this, but then you may get it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, did, so, did we help you do that? Yep. Okay, got it. All right, all right that's good. Yeah, yeah no, that worked out great. You know, like I said, if, if I'll, I'll bring this up with them next week, and okay. if there is anything, I'll reach back out. Like I said, yeah. you guys have been great. I would definitely, you know, use you guys to help out, like I said, because um, you have helped us with, with those other uh, programs as well. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Chris with... Is this... I hope you're yeah. pronouncing that right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but this is not a this is not a good time. You'll have to call me tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. Okay. All right. Cool. I can I can call you then. Uh, it... Hello. Hey, is this? Yeah. Hey, this is Chris Arslan with Team. Did I catch it in okay time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Uh, reason for my call is that is this something that you're familiar with? You're calling from me. Yes, I'm with a team. No, we are not aware of that. Okay. Um, I I was calling to see if if I and I don't know if I have you as the VP of. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I I was calling to see if maybe you or someone else from your team would have time next week to connect for about thirty minutes to see if you guys do in fact qualify. So would would you or someone from your team have availability? Maybe um, I'm looking at my calendar and I have some availability next week on- How, much, how many dollars did you say, $100? Uh, 100,000 to uh, 250,000. Sure, go ahead and schedule one and uh, you know send me an email. Okay, cool. What, what um, What's a good day for you? Would, would uh, maybe Tuesday uh, or Wednesday be good for you? Yeah, uh, make it around uh, you know twelve thirty, or uh, make it around one o'clock. Yeah. Would Would Tuesday at one a, one p.m. work for you? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And is there somebody else that I should invite to this call? Yeah, uh, invite. The email ID is. Okay. Yeah, I got him right here. I will. I will invite. Uh, both of you to the to the meeting. Actually, let me make sure I have your email as well. So you said for him, it's um, and then yours I have as at. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Just want to make sure I had those right. All right. Awesome. I have you guys on the calendar for uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, the 14th. Um, and and I'll put in the calendar invite a little information about the the tax credit just so you're aware of it. Um, and I definitely look forward to connecting with you then. Okay, thank right. you. Thank you, bye. All right, so there you go. Done with my call block. Ended up making a total of 60, 60 dials. Um, hopefully you could hear all of them clear enough. One of them got a little messed up, but um, whatever. It didn't end up setting the meeting, so it didn't really matter. Um, now, I have the results, all right? Final results of whether or not specifically double dials work. Looping, you could just hear me doing my looping on the calls. I think every meeting I ever set is off of looping where you ask for the meeting, they give you an objection, you answer the objection, they ask for the meeting again. So you got to hear that. I did that over and over and over again. But specifically on uh, dialing metrics from that call block, here we go. Actually, before I give you these metrics, please, 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 if you like my content, if you find this helpful, all I ask is that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is just at Chris's Secret Podcast. All right. Now, without further ado, name will be changing soon. Uh, without further ado, I made a total of 60 dials. All right. I then had 17 people answer my cold calls. I had 22 double dials that I made, meaning that they either picked up on the first, they didn't pick up, or they picked up and like immediately hung up and I called them right back. Um, so I had 22 double dials. I had seven people answer after I did a double dial, and then I set two meetings on this call block. Now, percentages are interesting stats for you. 28.3% uh, percent of the calls I made people answered, which is pretty standard, actually a little bit better than like my normal average, but pretty, pretty standard, maybe actually a little better than normal. Um, then I had 31.8% of my double dials I made answered. So you can see that now, obviously small sample size of only 60, but 
I have more people answer on my double dial than I do just normal straight up cold calling, which is kind of interesting. Um, then I had two meetings set. Now this is the most interesting stat I would say for me. Now also I would say I had 17 total people answer and seven of those came off of a double dial. So that would be, do some quick math, uh, 41% increase in conversations had thank for doing double dials. And then last but not least, the most interesting stat out of all of this is I set two meetings and both of those meetings that I set were off of a double dial. So 100% of the meetings I set in that you know, couple hour long call block I just did where I was able to get through 60 dials. 100% of the meetings I set were off of a double dial. So there you go. I am giving a stamp of approval on Alex Hermosi's uh, recommendation of doing double dialing. So if you're not already doing double dialing in your sales process, make sure to add it to your sales process because as you can see right here, we have the proof that it works. All right, until next time, y'all, figure out some ways to make some passive income so that you're not sitting here cold calling like I am right now. Um, because, you know, this is this is a grind. Figure out some ways to make some passive income. So I can see you out on the pickleball courts, on the slopes, paintballing. And please, 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 if you like what I'm doing, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you don't like what I'm doing, just subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can mock me. And uh, without further ado, peace out, y'all.